Welcome back, my friends. We are still on turn one in our Greece's Gold Tooth uh, campaign here. Uh, because, well, things are a bit slow going here in the beginning and uh, need to figure things out, right? So we are sitting here and we're really all we have to do is end the turn, I think. Uh, let's take a quick look at diplomacy. So the Thunder Gods we do not want to be friends with because we want... Uh, maybe we do want to be friends with Thunder Guts. Uh, they are... They approve. Okay. And then there's... Uh, Lazargs. So these are the Ogre Kingdoms. Then there's the Dwarves. Those we definitely don't like. Yeah. Uh, so Thunder Guts. Um... Let's do a quick deal. Uh, we want a trade agreement. Barak uh, Asorn. Okay. You dare approach a lord of the Dowie in such a manner? Uh, balance offer. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. All right, let's uh, end the turn and see what happens here. And from what I know, the turns go by a lot faster than they did in Total War Warhammer 2, which is kind of nice. Grimtop is full of greedy traitors. Mm -hmm. Give them a visit. Remind them who is over Tyrant. Reminder at Grimtop. Capture and occupy the following settlement, Grimtop. I have forgotten why you have acquired so many titles and rules for so, for so long. They need a reminder, and that means some killing and eating. Start with Grimtop. Okay. So, a thousand and a potion of toughness. Okay. Fine. Why can't you move? Yeah. Uh, I just wanna... I wanna recruit. I wanna recruit. I think we're gonna recruit two ogre bulls. Uh, can can that go away, please? Go go away. Go away. Yeah yeah okay that down there. <laughs> All right, so ogre bulls, we are going to recruit. Uh, we are going to. Go in here, and then. Encampment stance, and we have this going, so I think that's all we need to do at this turn. Alright, Malkrad is leaving Grimtop, I don't blame him. Alright, so plus a thousand for recruiting the two new units. Now, I want to see Grimtop. So you have... Oh, I want to see the garrison. So Firebelly Wizard, Noblars... Uh, some Mournfang Cavalry... Ogre Bulls, okay. Well... There's no gaps bigger. Uh... We just want... Uh, I think we want no stance. This will bring me spoils. And we shall go and attack Grimtop. The city All has right. been reached, and your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study your options, nevertheless. Encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, not right now. I think we're going to just uh, fight this battle. It says close. 
uh, victory. So if we just auto resolve, we'd lose our uh, ogre bulls here, but we'd win. But of course, we, we're going to fight this one. We could encircle for one turn. Nah, let's fight the battle. Close victory <clears throat> should be doable. All right. Realm of Souls. As Tomb King's warriors die on the battlefield, their spirits enter the Realm of Souls. As the Realm of Souls fills past certain thresholds, the unit that remain will regenerate for short periods. The Realm of Souls bar is displayed at the top of the battle interface when playing as a Tomb King faction. Okay. Okay, so doesn't really have anything to do with us. Okay. Your forces are ready to storm the defenses, yet I advise caution. You face an entrenched enemy that has had time to prepare. Be wary. Okay. Minor settlement panels. Minor settlement panels are fought over smaller settlements that lack fortified walls. The attacker can win the battle and capture the settlement by defeating all defending units. Learn more about minor settlement battles here. Let's uh, settlement attack tour. All right. So. Yeah, we know that. Uh, wait. Attacking can win the battle and capture the settlement by defeating all defending units. The defender may win by either defeating all attacking units or holding them off until the time limit expires. Uh, constructed defenses. The defender in a major siege battle or minor settlement battle may use supplies to construct defenses uh, at build locations throughout the settlement. Defenses may be constructed during the fighting in response to the progress of the battle. Each build location is linked to a nearby supply point capture location. Okay. Uh, capture locations. Defensive features of a major siege battle and minor settlement battle, uh, such as gates, towers, and constructed defenses, all linked to capture locations. Whoever holds a capture locations controls the feature linked to it. The attacker may begin the capturing process by clearing the defenders out of a capture location and positioning a unit within it. Summit units and units that uh, can fly are not able to capture locations. Okay. The flag of the defender will be lowered and the flag of the attacker will be raised while the capture is taking place. The defender may recapture a location after losing it using the same method. All right. <clears throat> your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They await your orders. Uh, uh, I don't think we need the deployment tour. I do want to take a look at our units because we didn't do that uh, last time. So let's start by taking a look at uh, our lovely uh, Greasus Goldtooth here. He is a handsome man. Handsome ogre. With a lovely cart. I like it. And what's that? Is that? That's Noblar's pushing behind, I guess. <laughs> okay. Then we have... The tracker. You, our hunter. He's a big boy. Well, need to get used to the controls a little bit. I like it. He looks very fierce. And then we have all our guys. So, if we take a look here, these are the Noblars. They look not very fierce. Basically, they. Uh, they're they're just cannon fodder, aren't they? <laughs> and they have they have uh, pans on their heads for for helmets. I like it. I like it. Uh, then we have the Noblar trappers, uh, which we have here. And the Noblar trappers are missile infantry, so they have a bit of ranged attack. Still not the greatest, I think. Then we have our Stonehorn, which is a huge beast. <clears throat> very, very cool looking. Dude, I would not be hitting that thing with your spear. 
very cool. Uh, we have the Iron Guts. They look pretty good. Wouldn't want to meet, meet one of those in the back alley. And then we have the Ogre Bulls with dual weapons. Very nice. I really like the the look of uh, all the units here. So well done. And then we have regular Ogre Bulls. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, let's take a flyover of where we need to go. So we need to. Uh, this is basically our our target, and we can take a few paths there. I think so. We can go up this way and capture these, and we can send some units directly that way. And I think we will split it up a little bit. So I think you two uh, come over here. Actually, come over here. You two come over here. They'll go up this way. Uh. You can come in here. Put some iron guts in here. And probably some iron guts in here. Bring us me. Uh, Biggest in the tribe. You two come over here. You two come over here. Ah! Hungry. All right, and we'll send Greases in this way, and our hunter guy in this way. Okay, let's start the battle. Uh, so let's move out and you guys uh, well let's get up here actually All right, here we go. Uh, let's send you up here. Okay. Troops to capture the enemy defenses, Commander. They can be turned to our service. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Uh, yeah, you moving up as well, and you. Okay. Let's move in and attack these ogre bulls. Let's move you up here. When supper, off we go. Field time. Uh, me, me, me. get in there. Greases, Greases, get in there. Uh, 
Okay. We are in combat. And we're in combat over here, which is fine. All right, are we winning? Yeah, we're winning. For well, now, at least. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, I know. Kinda need to get these guys dead. Alright, we're taking these guys out, that's for sure. Alright, they've given up. What about over here? Over here we're not doing that great, to be quite honest. Uh, is he... attacking? Get in there and attack. Alright, that's better. What the hell? That's these guys. Alright. Um, let's just pause for a second here, get an overview of what's going on. Let's get you in and attack those guys. You can attack those guys. We will bring our uh, stone horn back this way, I think. And help down here. And then we have our ogre bulls. Uh, can get in here this way, can't we? Yeah. Uh, so our ogre bulls will head over this way. Now the stone horn. I want you to come over here. I want you to come up here. Oh, you're uh, okay, you're over here. Fine. Attack those ogre bulls. Uh, play. Okay, how's it looking down here? It's not looking too good, to be honest. So now that. He is in the fight. It's looking a lot better. Have you stopped running yet? Get back in here. Hey. Get back in here and deal with him. Actually, deal with that. Alright, they're running now. They had way more troops here than I thought they would have. Um, Stonehorn. Get down here. All right, we are taking this now, which is good. Call me over uh, 
get in here. Attack that. Okay, attack him. Well, we're definitely going to lose some units. Okay, so this has been taken. Let's get these guys down here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how's it looking up here? Okay. Scouting. You get over here and take that. All right, we have all of our guys on the way. Beautiful. Sorry, spectacle it is too. His army will surely follow. All right. Man, that hurt. That hurt. All right, well, end the battle. You may call it a victory. I call it fortunate. All right, close victory, but a victory nonetheless. So we deployed 732, we lost 252. Man, need to get better at these battles. That's for sure. Because I am very, very, very rusty. And we did beat them though. So that's nice. Did we lose anything? Maybe? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, let's go. This still takes a while to load. That's okay. That is okay. Man. So 44 kills for uh, Greasus, 43 for, those are 57 for our Stonehorn. Stonehorn is a beast. The Noblars actually did quite okay with 39 kills on one of them. Yeah. All right. We gained some meat. That's a good thing. We gained some loot. That's a good thing as well. And we gained a, gained a rank. Which we'd like. Alright. At last, the defenses have fallen, my lord. The fate of those that remain is yours to determine. Indeed it is. Alright, a number of options are available to the victor and... Uh, after capture of a settlement. These are presented on the post-battle panel. There are about post-battle options here. Uh, so we can occupy, which gives a conquest penalty. They will be a little bit upset. And some province instability. Then we can loot and occupy, uh, which gives a bigger conquest penalty and a bigger instability, but it also gives us some plund plunder. Then we can uh, sack it. Uh, yeah. And then we can raise it, which is basically destroy the settlement. Hmm. I think we're going to loot and occupy. Alright, potion of toughness. I like it. And a thousand. Potion of toughness. So armor plus 30, military defense plus 24. Okay. Replenishes hit points of combatants. Not bad. Not bad. All right. This road is one of the richest trade routes in the world. It is only fitting that you, mighty Greasus, should own it. I agree. 
so main control of the following one provinces, either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. The Ivory Road spans from Grand Cathay to the Old World, but a good part of the route crosses through the mountains of Morn, Goldsooth's territory. Uh, take it back from traitors and foes. Provinces are large land areas on the campaign map containing up to four settlements. The settlements within a province may be viewed on the province overview panel. Blah blah blah. So, uh, the ancient so great skull uh, we get. Okay, uh, ride the ivory road. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, we need to take Amble Peak and we need to take uh, Karakrakatan, I guess. And I know that I'm probably not saying any of this uh, correctly, but uh, it, it is what it is because I don't know how to say it otherwise. Uh, so we have this Malkrad guy who is of the same faction. Grace Can we reach him? No. Alright. Uh, can we recruit? We can. Knoblars, Ogre Bulls... I think... We'll get a Noblar, a couple of Noblars. And that'll be fine. Right. Can we switch to encampment stance? No, we cannot. Can we build anything in here? Well, we need to uh, repair this. And repair this. Okay, and in one turn... We have our um, our mall cave here built, which is great. And let's select Greasus if I can. Where the heck is he? He's in there. Uh, There are some details. Uh, okay. So it's not that many buildings that we can build. Okay. We'll take a look at all of this as we go. Hmm. I don't think I want to recruit anything right now. Be boner. We gain from battles plus ten percent. Weapon strength plus five percent. Charge bonus plus eight. Uh, recruit hero. Okay. Um. So, Rhesus here. Uh, recruitment cost is nice. Income from raiding. Income from sacking settlements. Inspiring presence. Unit experience gain per turn plus 75. Characters aura leadership effect plus 5. Plus 5% 5 speed. And a charge bonus. A tribe stealer diplomatic relations plus 30 with ogre kingdoms. Melee attack plus 10. Weapon strength plus 20, but only when fighting against Ogre Kingdoms. So, down this line is basically for the army. And down this line is for the Greases. Down this is basically effects of the battles and on the campaign map. OK. 
Okay. Upkeep minus 8% for the Lord's Army. That's not bad. And then up here we have Bellower. Leadership aura size plus 20%. That's not bad. Sword knockers. Lookout knoblars. Melee attack plus 5. Knoblars are not the greatest units, to be honest. Uh, Greased knoblars. Sneaky Noblar is blessed by the Great Maul. Spell resistance, not bad. Big and stronger. Weapon strength plus 8% for Ogre Bulls units. A campaign. Wealth, greed, and glory enough to make any basis, basic war camps well in size. Camp growth plus 5 for all camps, all armies faction wide. Ooh. Uh, better campaign. Meat provided by camps plus 50%. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go for an inspiring presence here. Give the aura, uh, our aura a little, get our aura a little bit better and get experience per turn for our units. So we're going to go with that. Oh, I forgot our friend, good blout. Uh, and he is going to increase mobility. Of course he is. Attribute Vanguard Deployment for Saber Tusk Pack Units. Independent Mind. Okay. Uh, their Master's Voice. So this is for Saber Tusk Units, which we don't have yet. So, specialists, nah, assault units. Uh, we're going to go with uh, increased mobility, that's for sure. Get our campaign movement reined up. And we are recruiting. Yeah. So, in the turn. Uh, he marched. Okay. We probably can't catch him. Eh, uh, maybe. Technology research. Camp huddle. A couple of ogres have a, having a conflab quickly becomes a huddle as more and more gather around them. Population surplus one for newly deployed camps. Camp limit plus one. Army ability dismember all armies. Uh, okay, hex area acceleration minus 65%, speed minus 60%, charge speed minus 60%. Okay. That's actually really good. Your kind is fabled for its fireside revelry. Set up a camp to serve as a base for operations far from home. From such camps come a resupply of meat, fresh forces, and control of the local terrain. Okay. There's no can we catch them? We can. Let's try and catch him. The time for battle is nigh. A decisive victory. We don't lose anything. For your brutish kind are known to fight better with full bellies. Uh, ogres march and fight on their stomachs. Every ogre army carries a store of meat when out and campaign for hungry. Ogres will quickly turn on each other for sustenance should food supplies run out. Pre-battle feasts can be served out on the pre-battle panel to improve the fighting abilities of the ogre army in the coming battle. Uh, a pre-battle feast can be served on the pre-battle panel. Okay. Uh, we're not going to pre-battle feast anything because we don't need to. We're just going to order resolve this one. Alright. We got five meat. Got some loot. Nice bit of loot. Uh, gambler's armor, okay. And another rank. 
Outstanding. Uh, unit replenish by 2%. Uh, let's eat the captives. Follow again, Noblar Chief. Okay, recruitment plus four for Noblar's units. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Noblar's are stupid, but this one has shown the faintest spark of intelligence who has been promoted above his peers. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, gamblers, armor, armor plus five, ward save eight percent. Okay. And Gutblaut has a big name. Nice. And we killed Malkrad. Okay. And let's assign some skill points. Um, we're going to go... Hmm. Weapon strength plus 6% for Mournfang. Ammunition plus five for lead belchers, noblar, scrap launcher, and iron blaster units. Best eaters, melee attack plus two for iron guts and man eaters units. Uh, I think we're going to go with a bull charge here. Yeah. And then you have a big name. Noblar Kicker. Breakable for Noblar's units. All units in army. Right. We don't have to choose one, I guess. Uh, melee attack plus 10. Gee, I like that better. Big Bellower. Leadership plus 8. Mm, so we'll just do that. Uh, so it does say big name available. All right, we'll choose this one then. For 10 turns. That's fine. I don't suppose we can encamp. No. Unfortunately not. Okay. Uh, I actually want to... Go in here and see details. So we have the armor on, we have the Noblar Chief. Alright, so it's fine. And it's very cool that we can combine uh, items now, fuse them. I really like that feature. That is very, very cool. Alright, we will. Head back towards Grimtop. Alright. We can't move right now. Alright, so we have a building upgrade available. Uh, so, we need two population surplus. I want to take a look at the building browser for this guy. Muck Trench. Uh, provides garrisons, but doesn't provide any units. Saber Tusk Pack. Very fast and rampages. Okay. And then we have Gorgers. Monstrous Infantry. They don't have a lot of armor, do they? Melee attack is decent though, and the hunter. Then we have big slab growth plus 10, casual replenishment rate plus 3% for local armies. Gold horde income generated 50. We have larder meat generated 10. Okay. Income from all buildings minus 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, here the buildings give thanks. The Fury Guard. Control plus two, corruption minus two. A gold mining pit. Now, the gold mining pit seems like something that we want. And then here we can upgrade you. 
so that we can get ogre balls with dual weapons and ogre balls with iron fists. So these guys have a bonus versus entry where these guys have shielded. Okay. And then we of course want to get up to the iron guts. Who are armor piercing, which is really nice. And a lot of armor, 90. We really need to get up there and get those uh, armor piercing. Alright, so we are building those. Um... The bullpen, multiple bullpen of this type existence probably no additional benefits. All right, so we'll demolish you. Uh, Grim top. So we'll build something else here instead, and we'll get. Well, I don't know yet. Something. We'll get something. Okay. Uh, we need to research. We have a Noblar Scavenger. Income from raiding plus 50%. Wow. Uh, melee attack plus 5 for over bulls units. Uh, then we have hidden stick. Uh, requires technology. Weight. West Dallas. Diplomatic relations plus 10. Uh, charge bonus plus 7%. Cavalry units. Saddle sword cream. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Oi, sorry. Cap growth plus 20 when in enemy territory. So I think we're going to go with the whetstones here and get looks after his boy. that done. And I think that is it. And we are going to end it here. We are on turn four of our campaign. Uh, It'll start to pick up a little pace as we move along, I think. Um, it's just because we're, well, I'm rusty and uh, there's a lot of stuff to figure out uh, just now. So it, it's taking a little bit longer than uh, it should, really. Uh, but it'll be fine in the long run. We will get moving. We will grab our uh, areas. And what actually are our objectives? Uh... So, victory conditions, complete the corn room, complete the Nurgle room, Slanish, Sinch, uh, and then can you fight and win the battle at the spot Forge of Souls, okay? Uh, domination campaign victory, we need to destroy several, okay. So, this is Forge of Souls campaign victory. Alright, cool, cool. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.